welcome back. So, what we will do now is find a produce a tractable way of finding the optimal policy of a stochastic control or Markov decision processes problem. Now, the main observation that we made in the previous part was that there is an additive structure to the cost which means that the way the cost gets accrued to us is that based is, is based on what hap, what we do in at each stage and where we are in that stage and a bit of and the noise in the system. So, it does not really depend on the cumulatively on the sequence of states and the sequence of actions we have taken. This, this, this is reminiscent in a lot of other systems for example, you see in, in computer games or in mobile phone games. The you keep accu uh, accumulating points based on the uh, what you perform what you do in each level not based on the entire history of things that you have done up until then right. So, this this structure is something that we will uh, we will now exploit. Now, the key analogy that I want you to remember is that this structure actually helps us this help uh, this structure helps us think of 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 all of these stochastic control problems as some kind of shortest path problems. So, now what is the shortest path problem? Well, let me write it here. So, imagine we want to travel from from say a, a point here which is let us say Bombay. We want to travel from Bombay to a point here which is which is Goa ok. And along the way there are many other there are there are numerous possible routes that one can take one could potentially go by sea. You or one could fly until uh, to a nearest destination and then then take a take a taxi or one could say for example, go entirely by road or one could go uh, uh, you know one, uh, one could go by train and so on. There are numerous possible ways by which one can travel from Mumbai to from Bombay to Goa ok. So, I am going to denote all of these by various paths ok. So, these are the uh, this is one possible path it passes through these intervening nodes here these intervening nodes could be uh, could be villages towns or something that that fall on the way uh, or or airports that fall on the way to in the in the way uh, that we choose to travel okay so here is for here is another path for instance right and this another path could be the one that takes comes here and then all again go, go do just this and then goes to Goa. Another path could be something like this. When you open up Google Maps and you look for a route from uh, from Bombay to Goa, what Google Maps is trying to solve for you is something like this. It is trying it is trying to uh, look search over all these possible paths and try and find for you the shortest uh, the the shortest path or the most economical path or some uh, or whatever the case may be right now the the so why is this kind of a problem akin to the pro, uh, to the stochastic control problem why is there a parallel between the two the main the main reason for this for the parallel is that when you look at the cost of traveling from bombay to goa let's say the cost of travel was say we are measuring cost in terms of distance suppose okay so we want to say we want to talk of we want to minimize the distance traveled the distance that we travel when we go from bombay to goa now the distance traveled that that the distance that we travel on any path right so so for example let's say this i take this particular path this path that goes from bombay to here then for to here then to here and then here the distance that I travel in on any of any path like this is equal to the sum of the distances that I that I travel on all the edges. So, the it is equal to the distance on this edge plus the distance on this edge plus the distance on this edge or the plus the distance on this edge. So, distance has this property that if I want to find the total distance along a path from Bombay to Goa what I it can be given as a sum of stage wise distances where this where at every stage the distance is basically the length of that length of the edge or the distance on that that edge joining the that that uh, that I have shown on this graph. The same kind of property holds with time also say for example, if I wanted to uh, uh, find a, the time that uh, the path that takes the least time not the least distance, but the least time 
then again suppose this was the path that takes the least time. So, then it the time that you take on traveling that path is equal to the time that you take on this leg plus the time that you take on this leg right. Now, this this means that the cost that you incur is getting accrued to you at every stage it is a getting accrued in a stage wise manner. So, the and and uh, this is exactly the structure that we have in our in our problem. In our problem also the cost gets accrued to us in a stage wise manner and as a result of that we can think of basically the cost uh, think of a stochastic control problem as a kind of generalized stochastic shortest path problem uh, where what where what the co the stage wise cost that we uh, that we represent are really the costs on each of these edges and the action that you have to choose basically is asking us well suppose you are at this this uh, you know town on the way whether would you want to take the action of going to this town here or would you want to take the action of going to this town. This is essentially the choice that we are making when we are choosing actions. So, in completeness basically what is happening is that the 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 what uh, the states of the system can be thought of as all these intervening intervening nodes or these are these are as I said different villages or towns or airports or, or train stations that are coming on the way from Bombay to Goa and the uh, the uh, the uh, the actions that we have tell us what next should you be doing which edge should you be traveling on next should you be traveling on this one or should you be traveling on this one or if you ended up here should you be traveling uh, here actually there is no choice here if you are here you travel here and so on ok. So, this is this is how one can visualize the problem that what is effectively happening is is that we are solving a kind of generalized version of thinking of, of a problem of finding the shortest path between two nodes ok. Now, this analogy is not exact because really the the in 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 a shortest path problem the terminal where the terminal place that we want to be at is Goa and Goa only. Uh, therefore, uh, therefore, uh, whereas in the uh, in the stochastic control problem, we have a cost that depends on which node that we end up in, and so on. But but you know, broadly speaking, the analogy goes through. Now let us uh, let us see what this analogy actually amounts to. Okay. Now this this analogy actually tells us one simple observation. That one one simple observation is as follows. Suppose Suppose there was suppose I found the shortest path that uh, that went from Bombay that, uh, for uh, from Bombay to Goa based on some cost criterion either its distance or time or whatever. So, suppose uh, that shortest path passed through this highlighted node here this yellow highlighted node is the one through which this shortest path pass. So, the actual path then the the actual shortest path is this green path here it is this from here to here then then you go from here to here ok and then I am I am assuming this is going to be my my shortest path it is from here to here and then from here to here. This is suppose my my shortest path ok and the it as I said it passes through this yellow node in between ok. Let me give this node a name uh, let us call this let us suppose this this node here is uh, is suppose Pune. Okay. I know the shortest path to from Bombay to Goa probably does not pass through Pune, but you know I am just co cooking it up. So, suppose this is this is the uh, this is this node ok this. So, what we what we are finding is that well the shortest path from Bombay to Goa passes through this node called Pune ok. Now, let me ask you the following question if this this green path is indeed the shortest path from Bombay to Goa. Now, I ask you what is the shortest path from Pune to Goa? What is the shortest path from Pune to Goa? So, suppose which means that suppose you, you ignore so you, you ignore all that is there on the left here ok. You are not starting from Bombay, but you are actually starting from Pune. You start from Pune and you you want to know what is the shortest path, shortest path to go from Pune to Goa ok. Well, what do you what do you uh, what uh, what does this uh, what does this tell you? The fact that we already know that the shortest path from Bombay to Goa is the green path tells us that 
the this leg this leg going from Pune to Goa also has to be the shortest path from Pune to Goa. And the, why is that the case? Well, that is the case simply because uh, be, uh, uh, is, is simply because of the following, uh, you know, some kind of uh, very obvious observation. If there was another path which was shorter, let us say for example, there was this, path, there was this uh, blue path here which was shorter, okay. Suppose this path if this blue path was shorter, uh, then what I could do is upon reaching Pune, instead of going along the green path to Goa, okay, upon reaching Pune, instead of going along this green path from Pune to Goa, I could have switched this, switched from, switched to the blue path because after all that is shorter. I could have switched to the blue path and then I would have got this combined green plus blue path here this green plus blue path as a, a path that is shorter than my original green path, right. So, this path here from Bombay to Pune and then from Pune you take the blue route that would be shorter than going along the green route from Pune uh, from going from Bombay to Pune and then going along the green route from Pune to Goa, right. So, this is this simple observation basically tells us that if you have found a shortest path from Bombay to Goa and then I stop, I look at that path at any intervening node, okay, in this case Pune or any other node, let us say this one here. I look at, I look at, I ask what is the shortest path from this intervening node to Goa? I still want to get to Goa, okay, okay. So, uh, we all want to party, we want, all want to get to Goa, okay. So, we suppose we start from any intervening node here uh, uh, in in uh, uh, along this path and we ask ourselves what is the shortest path from this node to Goa, okay. So, in that and the answer simple answer is that well it is the same path, it is the remaining leg or, or technically the, the residual leg of the path the, of the shortest path that you have found from Bombay to Goa, right. So, this simple observation is actually going to be very powerful and going to be used in our uh, in solving a stochastic control problem. So, this simple observation is basically what is it has been given an, a, an important a name it is called the principle of optimality and this principle of optimality was actually first propounded by a person called uh, by a scientist called Bellman. So, Richard Bellman. So, it is often called Bellman's principle of optimality and it leads to an, an equation for solving uh, stochastic control problems which is which is called the Bellman equation, okay. So, let me write out now the principle of optimality. So, the principle of optimality says that principle of optimality. What does it say? Well, it says, so let pi star given by mu 0 mu n minus 1 star in capital pi m d. So, I am going to look, I am going to write out a principle of optimality for Markov decision, uh, Markov deterministic policies. Okay. So, the principle of uh, there is a similar prop principle of optimality for history dependent policy we will come to that in a moment. So, here I am writing out one for Markov deterministic policy. So, pi star now is my uh, is the is my optimal policy okay, in among uh, over the set of Markov deterministic policies. So, let pi star be an optimal policy over the set of Markov deterministic policies.
Now, assume that when using pi star a state a given state x i occurs at time i with positive probability. Suppose it occurs at time i with positive probability. Okay. Now consider the sub problem whereby we are at x i at time i. So, you are at you are at the state x i at time i okay. and wish to minimize the cost to go. from time i to time n. So, what is the cost to go? It is the cost that you would incur if you had started at time i and you are still ending at time n and you are starting from state x i. This is the cost to go. It is the cost that you have from time i onwards. Okay. So, uh, let me write out that this expression. It is simply the expected expectation This is simply the expectation of g n of x n plus the summation now goes from k equal to instead of 0, I have the k, I have the summation going from k equal to i to n minus 1 okay, of g k of x k u k w k. This is my cost to go from i uh, from uh, from i till n okay so you start off at time i and you go continue till uh, till time n okay then the truncated policy okay this truncated policy which just starts from time i onwards. So, you let us call this pol let us look at this policy. This policy is mu mu i star mu i plus 1 star and so on all the way till mu n minus 1 star. This, uh, this policy is, is what do you think it would be? Well, it is optimal for this sub problem. So, the principle of optimality says the uh, so suppose you have a, uh, a policy pi star which is a Markov deterministic policy and suppose it is optimal over the set of Markov deterministic policies. So, you are minimizing the cost over the set of Markov deterministic policies. Okay. Now, assume that when using pi star when using this policy pi star a, a, a particular state x i occurs at time i with positive probability. So, when you use a particular policy the sequence of states that gets realized is actually stochastic because there is noise in the system. The, the state that you would transition to even though you fix the policy the state that you would transition to is not known at, uh, to begin with. So, but what we will assume is that we there is some state x i uh, which will occur with positive probability when we are when we use a policy pi star okay? when we uh, uh, when we use this policy pi star. And now we consider the sub problem which, which starts at state x i at time i. It is important here that we start at time i okay? and 
we what we want to do is minimize the cost that of the remaining of ok. So, the cost that starts from i to n. So, this cost is simply the expectation of your terminal cost plus the stage wise cost starting from i till n minus 1 ok. And what, what the principle of optimality basically claims is that if you look at this truncated policy which is the policy form which is mu i star mu i plus 1 star dot 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 till mu n minus 1 star this truncated policy is the optimal policy or is an optimal policy for the sub problem the problem where which is the problem starting from x i uh, uh, till time n from time i till time n ok. So, how is this analogous to the uh, what I was telling you about uh, the the uh, sh the shortest path problem the analogy is kind of easy to see here this intermediate state here x i is like your highlighted node uh, you know the highlighted node pune here. So, what it is basically saying is that so your opt the optimal policy here pi star is the optimal path that you have chosen it is it is the green path that you have chosen ok. The intervening node pune here is this state x i that occurs at time i. So, all we are asking here is that pune is actually on the shortest path that is the claim here by uh, that is what we are basically assuming. The, we, now, the shortest path problem is actually a deterministic problem as as I have posed here, but uh, here because our uh, uh, because the stochastic control problem is, uh, is, uh, is stochastic in nature we also need to say that well the the uh, the uh, the state the intervening state occurs with positive probability that is the stochastic equivalent of saying that Pune is on the shortest path ok. Now, you consider the sub problem which is the, the problem starting from uh, starting from Pune to go to uh, Goa by the shortest path. So, what is the shortest path from Pune to Goa well what so this is your this is the cost for that sub problem it is the cost to go ok it is uh, it is the cost that you would incur if you if you started off at at, at state x i at time i. And the uh, the principle of optimality says that well this this green path or in equivalently the remaining part of the policy or, or the what they what is called here as the truncated policy the truncated policy is actually optimal for this sub problem the sub problem of starting from Pune and ending up at Goa ok. So, this is this is effectively the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the analogy uh, and this tells you also why there is a close correspondence between uh, between stochastic control problems and uh, and 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 shortest path problems shortest path problems are are uh, capture in them most of the spirit of a stochastic control problem. So, now uh, there is as I said a, sim a similar principle of optimality also for uh, for when the set of policies is not Markov deterministic policies, but uh, history dependent deterministic policies and also for randomized policies I will come to those uh, in the uh, you know in a subsequent lecture ok. So, what is the implication now of of this particular of uh, of of this principle of optimality well what what it gives you is actually a way of computing the optimal and uh, an optimal policy ok. So, it gives us what is called the dynamic programming. So, what is the implication now of the principle of optimality? The implication is that this policy now gives us a an algorithm or a method for computing the optimal policy or computing an optimal policy ok. This algorithm is what is called the dynamic programming algorithm. So, why is this called a dynamic programming algorithm? Well, the if you look at the nature of the algorithm, the algorithm actually does uh, go uh, goes stage wise it uh, and it optimizes something for each stage ok and I will explain what exactly this means 
what exactly does it mean to optimize for each stage. It does not do as something as simple as finding the best the shortest path at on at, e, at each you know for each leg or something like that it is not as simple as that, but it, it does go stage wise. Okay. So, there is therefore, it, uh, it, 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 it is involves you can say a dynamic optimization, an optimization that happens uh, for each stage and uh, as, uh, as the problem goes along. The, the other, so, so what is the, what is the sort of overall philosophy of this particular algorithm? The, the, the philosophy is simply is comes from the, from the principle of optimality. Well, the principle, what the principle is optimality has actually told us that the rest of that once you the shortest path from Pune to Goa is this green path, but it actually also as a corollary is also telling us a few other things. So, for instance, if I had found, okay, if I had found the shortest path from any intervening node to Goa, okay, so suppose I had found the shortest path from uh, from I had found the shortest path from Pune to Goa and suppose I had also found the shortest path let us say, uh, let us say from this, suppose I had also found the shortest path from this red node to Goa. Okay. So, if I had found these two uh, shortest paths and then if I had told you what the paths were from what the, the, the shortest what, what the shortest distances were or what the distances were from Bombay to, to each of these nodes. Then what I, what I need to do in order to, in order to, uh, uh, in order to find the shortest path from Bombay to Goa is basically look for all the intervening nodes that can occur on my route from Bombay to Goa. And use the fact that I have already computed the shortest path from those intervening nodes to Goa and combine that with the, with the path with the time or distance it takes for me to get to any of the intervening nodes. If I combine these two, I should be able to synthesize what would be the shortest path from Bombay to Goa. This essentially is the algorithm, the dynamic programming algorithm. Okay. So, what we are doing is we are what we would be doing is synthesizing the shorter the, the shortest path by using the short these these uh, the, the synthesizing the optimal cost by using intermediate cost which is which are these cost to go for each stage okay details of this in the next part